Seafood Diva, and we're in Corona Del Mar at the farmhouse, which is located in Rogers Gardens. So we're going to check out their new spring menu, and, and hopefully you get to see all that, and then we'll see you back here afterwards and tell you all about it. salad. It's delicious. It's very springy. It's got a lot of um, singy flavors from like the uh, fresh tomatoes and strawberries. And then you've got a nice crunch from the uh, pistachios that are in there. And then also a creamy element of uh, goat cheese. It's good. We make these things, you know, they're all coming from a farm that I've worked with for, for years. And so the idea was to, uh, that little veggie sides part, and so the, kind of the idea is each vegetable has a little story with it. And so um, the sweet potato comes from a farm in Alita called Milton Farms. Uh, the guy's the farmer's name is Chris Milton. And it's um, it's a Satsumaimo Japanese sweet potato. It's a very unusual, it's different. If you go to the grocery store, and, uh, to a, like Bitsuwa Market, and you buy a Japanese sweet potato, it's completely different than this. And I don't know if you've tasted it yet, but the texture is really, really wonderful. And the uh, and the flavor and it comes with an apple cider kind of molasses glaze and the thing is not to overpower the flavor of the potato, it's just to kind of uh, enhance it. And then the asparagus comes from asparagus and cauliflower both come from a farm in Lumpur and the farmer's name is Phil Green and they, he calls his farm life a joke. Uh, this comes with a sauce for beach, which is uh, it's the capers and and uh, cornichons and a hard boiled egg. And the idea is this egg and the egg comes from a farm down in uh, Valley View. Is the, the, my friend's, uh, the farm is Peter Shaner, it's Shaner Farms, and Peter Shaner and his son Noah run the farm. And so we've been getting their eggs, for, I've been getting their eggs forever. Um, and in the same sense, this cauliflower is like a steak to a certain extent. The texture of cauliflower is really neat, and we've been doing different cauliflower dishes on the menu. And this comes with a chimichurri sauce. Right? Okay. Enjoy, please eat. Yes. <laughs> Hollandaise sauce, but I think it's like a like a deviled egg sauce. It's kind of interesting to see. It smells like the kind of egg salad, deviled egg sauce. It's really good. I love baked cauliflower, and this is kind of grilled like they did with like a steak. You get like the grills on the outside, but the char adds a nice flavor to the cauliflower. <laughs> And it's got a nice texture on the inside. I think we heard that this was swordfish, but we'll clarify this later. And looks like there's like a race Israeli couscous in there. Maybe some bulgur. And there's asparagus. It's like little teardrop tomatoes. I think this is a swordfish here. Looks like there's some kind of like uh, sprouts on the top. I don't know if that's mushroom. We'll try it and see what it is. Hmm. It's either swordfish or halibut. 
it's nice and flaky. It's um, succulent. And let's try the little vegetable. There's a little bit of a kind of milky, creamy, creaminess to it. So we checked with the chef and the actual fish that was used in that dish was a, a panko crusted codfish. Totally blew my mind. Thought it was either um, sea bass or halibut. So really good for cod. It almost looks like a kind of like a pork uh, katsu type of ramen dish. So we'll see how it tastes. The ramen noodles are cooked perfectly. Not too soft and not too um, hard. The broth has a nice flavor. It's pretty good. Kind of like your kind of farmer's market take on like a, a pork ramen. I get it. It's delicious. So tonight we did figs and a uzu. Um, jam on the top. Neil's Yard Cheddar from England. Uh, very delicious white cheddar. Uh, this is a rogue blue, a blue vein, 75% uh, fat, so it's a high content fat blue cheese. And we also have Savran from the um, from Normandy. Uh, that is uh, a triple creme, uh, a brie style, uh, wash rind, and really delicious. It's great with the uzu uh, chutney on the side. There. Enjoy them. Thank you. I love blue cheese, so I'm going for this one first. It's got a rich saltiness to it, and then that blue cheese just kind of just fits you. And it's so good. If you love blue cheese, you gotta try this. Let's try this triple creme. He said this was from Normandy, so let's try it. Oh, look how soft it is. It's like, it spreads like butter. So it's almost, it almost tastes like butter. Like really rich, creamy butter. Mmm. It's good. I'm just going to try a piece of the cheese. So this was the English, English cheddar, I think. It's got a nice aroma to it. It's like an old world cheddar. It's not like uh, your typical yellow cheddar that you get at the supermarket. It's got that kind of like ripeness to it. Earthy tones. It's good. It's like a rendition of a strawberry shortcake. It's nice and light. Uh, we had a lot of courses here. So, it's just nice and light, but um, the skin itself has a tinge bit of sweetness to it, so it works well with the strawberries and the creamy whipped cream. Candles. Very simple dessert and a great way to end a fabulous meal. Hope you enjoyed this look at the farmhouse's new spring 2017 menu. And you're over here in uh, Corona Del Mar inside of Rogers Gardens. Hope you get to make a trip out here and enjoy it for yourself because it's amazing. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Mahalo!